How do you feed your teenage boys? For me, I tried HelloFresh. Hey guys. Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another video, and today I am doing a review of HelloFresh. A friend of mine sent me a coupon for a free box, so for a free box of food, why not give it a shot? And it actually came at the perfect timing. This is actually an old video that I had stored in my computer. I got this box way back in the beginning of June, so it came at the perfect timing because Jacob was just finishing school. So I thought, you know what, lunches are gonna start getting a little bit more more complicated when I have a teenage boy home for the summertime. So I thought something like this would be really great to try, especially when I wasn't paying for the box, to give it a shot and see what it would be like to use these strictly for lunches. And it worked out fabulous. These were amazing recipes, super easy to put together, and it worked out perfect feeding Jake because he cooked alongside of me. He was really an active part in cooking with me, and that was really fun for us to do it together, and then we got to eat the stuff together. So it was really, really fun. So I'm gonna take you down to my counter in the kitchen. I'm gonna show you the three recipes that came inside of the box. And then I have a little hidden treasure for you. So you ever have one of those words that you just can't say? Well, poblano pepper is one of them. For whatever reason, poblano comes out of my mouth. Whenever I say that on here, I always get a bunch of comments that I say the word wrong and I consciously try. Like I had to coach myself for three minutes to say poblano before I turn the camera on so I wouldn't mess that up. So when I'm cooking one of these recipes, let's try and count how many times I go back and forth from poblano to poblano, trying to say it the right way. Okay guys, so we're starting off with, I guess, our little unboxing portion of this and it's chicken pineapple quesadillas, beef and poblano tacos, and then a chicken Caesar salad where you make these little Parmesan crisps absolutely delicious so i was really excited about these recipes you can kind of tell we like those tex-mex kind of flavors and it's fun opening up these boxes it's kind of like christmas time but i've only done this once before with a blue apron and that was a long time ago and these unboxings have come really really far since then so everything was packaged like you've seen in other unboxings everything is separated for you i really loved the ice pack the little note to not forget to check all the layers and i just laid everything out to kind of show you guys how they have everything separated always super easy so we're going to start with the chicken pineapple quesadillas and this was a wonderful option you're going to see at the end that they give you a little bit more than they lead you to believe so even after the quesadillas there was an amount for me to put on the side and eat without their shell since it's not a low carb shell for myself so that worked out perfect so here are all the ingredients they give you everything separated which is perfect and all of the veggies were super fresh which i really appreciated especially even when you're doing blind grocery shopping when you're doing the grocery pickup you always worry about things like your meats your produce making sure that somebody would choose like you would and I really think that I didn't have to worry about that with any of these boxes everything was super fresh so we started with dicing and slicing the onion they only give you one onion half is meant to be diced for the salsa and then the other half is going to be used for the inside of the quesadilla and then now the peppers they just needed to be sliced as well because they're going to go with the onions and the chicken for the filling of the quesadilla. And now our next spot is to get all those veggies kind of rendered down. So we drizzle a little bit of olive oil and in goes our sliced peppers and our sliced onions. I gave them a good shake to coat all of the olive oil on the vegetables and then a little salt and pepper, another good shake. And then we're gonna let them sit and cook for like two to three minutes so that they get good and tender. While those are cooking, we can continue moving on with our salsa. They give you one aroma tomato, and the key to this is cutting it lengthwise and then making thin slices, turning the tomato in the other direction, and then coming down again with all little slices. It really just makes a very rough chop, which is perfect and organic for a salsa. 
Next is the cilantro and the key to herbs is rolling them up into a ball as tight as you can get it and then chopping down makes things really easy as far as getting a nice even cut on any kind of herb whether it be cilantro or parsley and then you're just going to add those ingredients to the bowl and then squeeze all of your lime juice on top and we're going to give it a good stir. Now we're gonna come check on our veggies and then add the pineapple. You don't need too much of a cook on the pineapple, so you're gonna wait until your vegetables get tender and then you're gonna add that cup in and then now we're gonna prep our chicken. You can see a bunch of that liquid from the chicken came out, so I used a paper towel and kind of cleaned up the area so you can see there's no more chicken juice on the cutting board. And then these were done in strips, so I just gave it a rough chop. And then in the same pan, after removing those pineapples, and peppers and onions once they're soft enough you add a little bit more oil and then add the chicken in we're gonna season that with some pepper and salt and then give that a good mix and stir and you're gonna let that start to cook for at least another two to three minutes and then we're gonna add the seasoning packet that the kit comes with and give it a good stir and then we're gonna let that cook down now for like another four to five minutes while that's cooking, we're gonna prep our quesadilla shells. So I just took a little olive oil and drizzled it on the back of the tortillas and then I flipped them over and we're gonna put the olive oil side down onto the pan and then we're gonna add our topping to that. So our peppers, our onions, our pineapple goes into that pan and it gives a good mix. And while that's sitting there all congealing together, we're gonna add one packet of cheese, half on each side, and then we're gonna layer the filling and then we're gonna add a cheese packet on top. And you're gonna see how much was left over in the pan. Those quesadillas were still good and full, and that's what I ended up using for myself. So I used the other packet of cheese to put it on top, and then I folded it over. The key to this is making sure that your filling is as much on the inside as possible, so that when everything melts down, it doesn't ooze out the side. And then once that was all set, I slid them over and into the oven. You only need to put them in the oven for just a few minutes till they brown. I will say I kind of prefer butter on the outside as opposed to olive oil, but I just layered everything in the bowl for myself and then everybody else chomped on some quesadilla and there was still a fair amount of quesadilla because they were good and thick. So everybody had a couple of pieces and we really enjoyed it. So definitely a thumbs up for that recipe. So now on to the beef and poblano tacos and here is all the things that we're going to need for that. Again, I love how everything was separated and the produce was good and fresh. And so we're gonna start off by making our salsa. Now, what I loved about this salsa is I love a sweet element. The salsa that we made in the last recipe is more like a pico de gallo, a nice, fresh, hearty kind of salsa. This is more of a sweet element because you get to add the kiwi. So after dicing that Roma tomato, just like we did in the recipe before, I skinned the kiwi with the knife. You can go ahead and use a potato peeler if you want to do that. Again, just a very rough chop. You want it organic and chunky for a salsa. And then now we're gonna cut that poblano pepper. The less spicy means removing the seeds. And if you want a little bit more heat, you can leave the guts on the inside since that's where the heat is kept. So being that my little kids were gonna try this and stuff, uh, I made sure to remove all the inside membrane and seeds. But again, if you guys want a little bit more heat, just leave that in there and it'll definitely bring that poblano flavor and little heat on the back of your tongue out for sure. The key to dicing, you guys, is always a good chef's knife. I have a bunch of great, amazing knives that I got off of Amazon, and they're linked in my Amazon store below if you guys want to check them out, but I absolutely love them, and they make things like prep super easy. So now we're gonna work on our red onion, and we're gonna cut that in half and do nice, thin slices, and then we're just gonna come back in the other direction and dice them. Thank you. 
Same thing with our cilantro. We're gonna roll it up and give it a nice good chop. And then we're gonna leave some of those red onion slices for the inside of the tacos. And so now inside of the bowl, you're gonna add your tomatoes and your kiwi and your red onion and your cilantro, leaving the poblano pepper and the sliced onion for the inside of your pan. Make sure to add a little salt and pepper, any kind of salsa, a salt, good salt and pepper, and a good dash of lime juice always brings out all of those flavors. Once you've given it a good stir, you're gonna set it aside so all those flavors can kind of gel together. Look how fresh and delicious that looks like. I absolutely love a good fresh salsa with any kind of dish like this. So we're just gonna drizzle a little olive oil in our frying pan and while that's heating up, we're gonna prep our crema. So you're gonna put the sour cream into a bowl and squeeze all the lime juice inside. We're gonna add a little salt and pepper and give it a good stir. And then I'm gonna set it aside in the refrigerator to remain cold while we prep the rest of the the meal. Once our olive oil is good and hot, we're gonna add in those red onions and those poblano peppers, and we're gonna give it a good toss in the olive oil, and then we're gonna let those cook down for about four to five minutes. Don't forget to add the packet of seasoning that HelloFresh provides for these veggies. You guys, this flavor was so good. Once those have cooked down for about three to four minutes, you're gonna add in the second packet of seasoning and the package of ground beef that it comes with. Make sure to give it a good chop. I wish I had like one of those ground beef choppers. I always say that I need one of those. And once you get a good chop and a good brown on the ground beef, you're gonna go ahead and add the tomato paste and the beef broth extract and just a little bit of water. And once you mix that all together, you're just gonna let that cook down and all the flavors congeal and mix together. This is probably a recipe that I will make over and over and over again. Once the mixture was all cooked through, I laid the tortillas out and then put some of that mixture right on top of the tortillas. And then I ladled on some of that salsa and then the crema and you guys, like I said, so, so good. All right, now we're on to our chicken Caesar salad and here are all the ingredients for this recipe. What I love about this was that I made Parmesan crisps. I have never done that before and believe it or not, I've never made my own croutons. So this was really fun to do this because once I've done this now, I'm gonna be able to do this over and over again. I love that I can save these cards and continue to do these recipes over and over again. So once I put a little bit of olive oil into a cookie sheet and smeared it all around, I poured the shredded Parmesan onto the pan, arrange them in little circles, and then shove them in the oven. And while that was melting down, I cut the bread. So they give you like a little baguette that you're supposed to cut. And again, just a very rough chop because you're making fresh croutons. So there doesn't need to be anything perfect about them. and you're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of butter into a bowl, throw it in the microwave, and once that's all melted, you're gonna add your bread inside and the seasoning packet that they give you, and then you're gonna give everything like a really good toss, and once everything is wet and good and coated, we're gonna throw it onto a sheet pan, and we're gonna end up cooking that in the oven. So now you're gonna drizzle a good amount of olive oil into the frying pan, and while that's heating up, we're gonna check on our Parmesan crisps. Like, look at that cooking slowly slowly baking down into like this tiny little thing that's gonna be like a pure crouton made of Parmesan cheese so so delicious 
And then it was time to cook our chicken once the oil was ready. So I put the chicken that they provided into the frying pan, added a little salt and pepper and their seasonings. And then once it was cooked on the one side, I went and go ahead and added a little bit more salt and pepper and a little bit more of the seasoning that they provided and cooked the chicken down until it was ready to go. I made sure to just give it one more flip so it's seared in those seasonings that I added towards the end. But again, all you're looking for is a sear because you're gonna end up adding it to that sheet pan that we took the Parmesan crisps off of and you're gonna put the croutons on there as well. And then we're gonna throw that inside of the oven and we're gonna let that bake for just a few minutes. And while it's baking, we can prep our salad. So they gave you a head of romaine lettuce that I chopped down. Again, you guys, these veggies were so fresh, which was perfect. You know, you need a good head of fresh lettuce when you're having a salad. Everything was pre-washed, so there was no need for me to do all of that. And then they also gave you a tomato, which I thought was a little bit of a surprise. There's not generally a tomato inside of a Caesar salad, but it was still refreshing because it was another one of those Roma tomatoes and they were really good and fresh. So a good fresh tomato in a salad is never a bad thing. So I portioned the lettuce out between two bowls and then I did the same thing with the tomatoes, portioned them out between both bowls and then set them aside and waited for the rest of the ingredients. Once the chicken and the croutons were ready, it was time to assemble the rest of our salad. So I added those little Parmesan crisps that we cooked in the oven. I'm not kidding. As an Italian, I've, like I said, I've never done this before myself and I've done a whole bunch of things and this really was so fun to do something that I loved so much. I've done it again since then and I'll do it over and over again. It really was great. That's why I love having those card stocks. I'm going to keep them in my repertoire for a long time and pull them out whenever I crave these recipes. And the dressing was so much in each packet that we had a whole packet left over because we only needed just a little bit of dressing. And the salads were perfect. They were light and fresh and airy. And thank you HelloFresh for three amazing recipes. Okay guys, so that's it for this HelloFresh review. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. This video is not sponsored. Again, this was gifted to me by a friend, but I wanted to share it with you guys just in case there was anybody out there that was interested in HelloFresh. I know for some like couples or small families, or even if you're feeding your teenagers, this box is really good, and they run great discounts and sales all the time. So I actually have a code that's given to everybody when you try so i'm gonna put that in the description box i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye